Louisville travels to Notre Dame. All right. Bit of a bit of an intriguing line right here. What we're staring at is Notre Dame is favored by five and a half points. Actually, six in most places, but you can get a five and a half. And we're gonna pick. Obviously, we're not gonna play to push. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna take the hook so we can possibly have a winner here. But five and a half. All right. I like Louisville. I do. I know it's on the road, but the reality is they've been playing way better football than I think Notre Dame has. I know they killed Purdue, but Oregon State just killed Purdue. Purdue's just terrible. All right? We know that for a fact. If Look, Jeff Brom diced up Marcus Freeman last year. Just diced him up, and I think they have a better quarterback this year to do that. I think Louisville, offensively, the talent, if you get Colin Lacey back, that's a big deal. Not sure if he's officially coming back this week, but that would be a big deal. Defensively, Louisville's look great. I know Louisville's schedule hasn't looked awesome either, but yeah, I and I know this is three straight road teams for me that I'm taking here, but I'm going to take Louisville to win, and I'm going to take him the plus five and a half here. Um, I, I just, I don't like the fact that Notre Dame is so dependent on running the football, and I don't, don't like that Riley Leonard can't use his arm to get himself out of trouble, right? If they get down, it is it's going to be interesting because one, Jeff Brom's going to want to absolutely step on their throat, you know? But sometimes Jeff Brom has bad games where he doesn't dial it up, you know? But against, for the big games, I like Jeff Brom in the big games, you know? So I, I think the coaching side on Louisville is just a lot better, you know, what's more proven at least than, than the coaching staff for Notre Dame in terms of winning the big games. I know they just went into College Station and beat a and but that team is on the decline right now. So I, I'm I'm a I'm a lay. I love Louisville. I love Louisville in the spot. I do too. I if they impressed me a little bit more against Georgia Tech last week, I would be all over Louisville and the points. That would be on the counter. I would be loving it, but I still am going to take Louisville to cover and obviously win there. Here's what I'll run down here. You kind of mentioned it about, I'll say it again a little bit. I think they have a coaching edge. I think they have a quarterback edge. I think they've got a playmaker edge. I think their old line might even be better. And by the way, too, defensively for Louisville, they had seven tackles for loss against Georgia Tech. Georgia Tech's running backs really struggled to get going against Louisville, or I'm sorry, against Louisiana. Wow. Holy cow. Georgia Tech's running backs really struggled to get going against Louisville. Georgia Tech is a running game and a scheme that I really respect. And the fact that Louisville was able to shut them down and force Haynes King to do everything. Listen, I don't think it's crazy that Haynes King is a better quarterback than Riley Leonard. I think he was pretty good in that game. And he kept him in that game as long as he could. And obviously a couple, you know, big turnovers here and there, you know, kind of led it to go different directions. But regardless, I still feel really good about Louisville in this game. I do not like Notre Dame. Like you said, having to put the game into Ryan Leonard's right arm. Are we going to see Steve Angeli? Are we going to see a different quarterback? I do not know. But one thing I do know is I do not feel good about Ryan Leonard having to throw the football to win this game, and I think he might have to. And I feel really good about Shuck doing that. I thought he was pretty solid last week. I know the Notre Dame defense is very good, but like you said, Jeff Brom is a mastermind, and he has Marcus Freeman's number. I know Marcus Freeman and Notre Dame are going to be fired up about this game, as they should. This was a, a brutal, brutal loss for them last year, obviously. But at the same time, yeah, I don't know, man. I, yeah, what, what more can I say? Coaching edge, quarterback edge, give me Louisville on the road. <laughs>